Hello everyone, welcome to Mifratech. Today in this section we will learn about Arduino Uno microcontroller. So this is how Arduino Uno microcontroller will look like. So the Arduino Uno is an open source uh, microcontroller. It mainly based on a microchip that is Atmega 320p IC will be uh, implanted in this Arduino Uno microcontroller. It is mainly developed by Arduino company. So the bo board is equipped with a set of uh, digital and analog input and output pins that can be in, in order to interface with uh, various uh, circuits you can interface you can also connect uh, say different sensors and actuators in order to do uh, any particular projects so the board has many four digital input output pins and in that uh, 14 digital pins it also has a six uh, pins are capable of uh, that is a pulse width modulation output that is pwm pins are there and there are uh, mainly six analog input output pins it has and you can uh, uh, write program for this Arduino using Arduino IDE that is integrated development environment. So and uh, you can uh, dump the code using this uh, there is a type B USB cable. So here the word you know why uh, why you will call it uh, this is Arduino Uno means this is the first version or the first release of Arduino uh, board by the Arduino company. So only uh, the name is Arduino Uno, Uno means once. So the Uno board is the first series of US based Arduino boards. So it can be powered by either a USB V type cable or you can provide external supply of using a 9 volts battery or uh, any DC adapter you can uh, provide. It accepts voltages between uh, 7 to uh, 12, 20 volts of uh, DC power. So next we will see the each and every pin uh, present in this Arduino Uno microcontroller board. So as you can see first one is the here the power jack this is in order to provide a power supply it is accepts 7 to 12 volts a uh, dc input this is the main center positive uh, jack in order to provide the power supply you can uh, connect your uh, adapter here and there is a voltage regulator present in here as you can see voltage regulator ic and it has a 16 megahertz crystal so this is one is the other crystal then this is the uh, type p usb port in order to dump the code or you can also provide power supply to this uh, usb port and it has a at mega as I told Atmega 328p IC uh, as you can see this one is the microcontroller main IC then it also has a Atmega 16U2 microcontroller IC USB controller this one is that and it has a reset button and uh, it has I, I, ICSP for USB interface also and you can also do a SPI uh, interface or I2C interface or say USB port you can uh, interface with any data so here there is ITC uh, pins are there serial clock and serial data as you can see and there is a inbuilt LED is there that is a pin number 13 that is connected to LED here and it has a for SPI communication it has serial clock and uh, MISO that is master in slave out MOSI master out slave in and slave select these are the four pins used for SPI communication next we have a uh, two interrupt here as you can see a pin number digital pin number 3 and 2 are used for interrupt 1 and 2 and uh, there is pin number 0 and 1 0 is used for a receiver uh, used as a receiver and uh, and uh, pin number 1 of is used as a transmitter so the the 14 digital pins we start from as you can see in the right side from 0 to 13 these are the four, 14 uh, digital pins in the uh, next we have uh, six analog pins in the left side as you can see and A0 to A5 these are the six analog pins used in order to uh, connect to any analog uh, related uh, sensors or actuators and in the uh, last uh, A4 and A5 of analog pin can also be used for serial data and serial clock for I2C uh, interface and this is what the Atmega 328P microcontroller IC then we have here ICSP for Atmega 328 there are again three pins here in order to provide VCC and uh, uh, for SPI communication MOSI and ground pins and here as you can see there are another three pins that is reset is uh, serial clock and uh, MISO this you can use it for SPI uh, communication so uh, upon that uh, then it has a power supply and ground pins so the first pin in the left most as you can see this is a not connected it is not used for anything and there is a input output reference voltage IO reference and we have a reset pin here and uh, one more is a 3.3 volts output so from this pin you can uh, provide a 3.3 volts uh, needed for any sensors and there is a 5 volts power supply so this 5 volt DC supply you can connect to any sensors or actuators when it is interfaced with that 
and if it has a two grounds as you can see oh, here one ground and another ground and there is a V input voltage this is in order to provide you can also provide power supply to, to this Arduino to this input voltage button also. So these are the different uh, pins and components present in this Arduino Uno microcontroller mainly. So next we will see what are the different uh, like uh, what exactly those pins will do. So general pin function there is a uh, uh, shown the pin number 13 internally connected to the, uh, LED. So there is a built in LED uh, is there present in the Arduino Uno microcontroller board in order to drive that uh, digital pin that is uh, internally connected to pin number 13. So whenever we make that pin number 13 has high the LED will on and when we make it is low the LED will uh, off. So like that you can uh, control a LED present inside that Arduino Uno microcontroller board. Next we have V in pin that is the input voltage pin that is in order to provide an external power source to the uh, Arduino Uno microcontroller board you can make use of this V in pin in order to provide a power supply. So next we have a 5 volts pin there, the, this 5 volts pin mainly provide a 5 volts DC power from the Arduino you can connect to any uh, sensor or actuator from this pin you can uh, provide the power supply. Next we have 3V3 that is this volt mainly provide a 3.3 volt supply generated mainly by uh, this Arduino microcontroller and you can uh, connect it to any devices and then we have two ground pins then a reset pin. This is typically mainly used to add a reset button sheet that block uh, one of them. If uh, the reset button is not working or if it is uh, not used means you can also use this reset button in order to reset the code. And there is a special pin function like a serial or UART function as there that is mainly used for serial communication or UART functions that is like RFID or anything if you are connected means for that purpose you can make use of this. Uh, pin number that is digital pin number 0 and 1 can be used for a transmit used as a receiver and transmitter that is rx and tx that is mainly pin number 0 rx used to receive and uh, pin number 1 used to transmit a ttl serial data these pins are connected corresponding pins of uh, they are they are internally connected to uh, pins of at mega at mega a2c usb to ttl serial chip is there that for that chip it is connected there are external inter interrupts also you can use the pc digital pin number 2 and 3 can be used in order to insert uh, like give any interrupts for this program. Then uh, there are uh, among the 14 digital pins there are 6 pins can be used for a PWM pins that is a pulse width modulation. The pin numbers are a 3, 5, 6, 9, a 10, 11. These are the 6 pins can be 6 pins can be used for a PWM pins. So they can provide 8 bit a PWM output through this pins you can get a PWM output with analog write function. And there is a SPI uh, for SPI interface also we have some uh, pins I have shown in the figure it's, uh, earlier itself. SPI is a serial peripheral interface that is a pin number 10 can be used for a slave select and pin number 11 can be used for a master out slave in and pin number 12 for a master in slave out and pin number 13 can be used for serial cloud. So these are the four pins supports for SPI communication. So the, you can use this by importing the SPI library while writing the uh, code. Then we have a TWA that is a two wire interface that is a serial clock and serial data. So like example if you are connecting uh, like BMP 180 pressure sensor means and in that condition you want to use the serial clock and serial data at that condition you can make use of this A4 and A5 pin in bit. So they will support a two wire uh, interface communication using the wire library. And what are the different features of this uh, Arduino Uno microcontroller means it has a microchip mainly at mega 328p then it has a operating voltage of a 5 volts so you can provide a 5 volts DC supply in order to turn on this Arduino Uno microcontroller. The input voltage is in between uh, 7 to 20 volts so it has a 14 digital pins in that 6 or a PWM can be used as a PWM output pins and it has a UI at 1 an ITC interface and a SPI interface it has 6 analog input pins and it uh, DC current per input pin will be 20 milliamps A DC current for a 3.3 voltage pin is a 50 milliamps. It has a flash memory of 32 KB where in, in that 32 KB 0.5 KB can be used for used by the bootloader and it has a static RAM of a 2 KB and EEPROM of a 1 KB. It has a clock speed of 16 megahertz. There is a crystal I shown 16 megahertz crystal and it has a length of 68.6 millimeter and width of 53.4 millimeter. So these are the different features of this Arduino Uno microcontroller. 
So what are the application of this Arduino Uno microcontroller? So you can use this in any uh, projects or any other circuits. In our, you can in, it can be used as a main controller in order to interface many sensors and actuators or any do automatic control. In developing project based on a code based control, development of automation system, designing of a basic circuit designs, you can make use of this Arduino Uno microcontroller. So what are the uh, features of this? There is a main IC present in the Arduino Uno microcontroller is Atmega 328P. So what are the features of this uh, IC means? It is a high performance ATML 8 8-bit AVR risk based microcontroller. It has a 32KB uh, flash memory with it. We, you can uh, write and read those uh, flash memory and it has a 1024B A prom and 20, it has 23 general purpose input output pins and 32, gen, uh, 32 general purpose working registers it has and it has a 3 flexible uh, timers or counters with a uh, compare modes and internally external interrupts also you can use it and it has a serially programmable uh, byte oriented 2 wire serial interface. Then it has 6 channel 10 bit analog to digital converter, a programmable watchdog timer and an internal oscillator is present in this uh, chip and it has a 5 software a selectable power saving modes. The device operates between a 1.8 to a 5.4 volts. So this is a pin diagram for Atmega 328PIC as you can see here there are mainly uh, uh, 32 pins present in this IC. So next we will see. Arduino installation and how to dump the code to the microcontroller. So the first step we have to uh, provide power supply to the uh, Arduino microcontroller board and uh, like uh, in order to dump the code also we have to connect this uh, USB cable that is a uh, type B of USB cable to Arduino Uno microcontroller. So this is how a USB cable to look like. So next we have to download the ID, uh, Arduino IDE software. So after downloading it, we have to extract the file. Then we have to launch the Arduino ID. So uh, this is the Arduino file will look like. After that, you run it, uh, install this Arduino software. After that, after the uh, Arduino has been su is successfully installed, you open your first pro here. As you can see, the home window will look like. In this, go to file and click on new and open the first uh, project. Then inside this project. You can find a lot of examples in the file itself. There is a examples code available for different uh, basic codes available for LED relays and other uh, sensors also. As you can see, there is a basic blink code also available. Then say we have to after that uh, collecting the USB cable to the Arduino board and installing the software. We have to select the Arduino board. So as you can see, I am using here Arduino Uno microcontroller board. You, then you go to this tools button. I click on that and there you can find it's a board inside that board there are different uh, boards available you have to select the Arduino Uno so as you can see I have select Arduino Uno microcontroller board next after uh, selecting the board you have to select the port that is uh, for which uh, like uh, which uh, port you have connected a uh, USB cable to your system there will be like uh, whenever you connect that uh, the system will be showing that is in the serial port you can see the some com so that we have to select after that you have to uh, write the code and upload the code uh, to the Arduino Uno microcontroller. So as you can see there are uh, these are the dev buttons uh, you can see in the here that we have mentioned here yeah, that is in order to check is after writing the code if there is any compilation error means you have in order to check that you have to press this button after that in order to upload the code to the board that is uh, there is arrow mark right arrow mark as you can see that you have to press after that there are different uh, uh, shortcut keys used to create a new sketch. The C as you can see this is in order to create a new sketch right in order to write new program and uh, D and E as you can see these are both in order to save your sketch and like uh, in order directly open one example sketch and in order to save the sketch and uh, for F1 as you can see this is a searching button this is serial monitor where you can see serial monitor output whatever if you are used in a program. So next we will see how Arduino program structure will look like. Generally whenever you open a file new sketch there will be some uh, set of files will open. So the example will be uh, usually it mainly in any Arduino program has mainly two functions. One is a set of function one more is a loop function. Inside the set of function you have to define what all the uh, baud rate or what is the pin mode of oh, you are using any sensor or actuator the input or output that pin modes you have to define. Inside the in the loop function you have to write the actual code. 
So Arduino programs can be divided into three main parts: structure, values, and function. In this, so as you can see here, the structure is uh, this is how a structure will look like. Then there is a, a setup. Setup function is when a sketch starts. You have to initialize the some of the variables like in which uh, which variables you are using in order to store the sensor data or any data connected any uh, like devices connected to Arduino pro microcontroller. You have to store some of the variables which are on uh, which and all you are using in the program that you have to define initialize in initially and the pin modes you have to define and for which pin you are connected those things you have to define and if any libraries are there that you have to include. Those all things we can done in the setup. That is, uh, you can mainly get uh, input, output, and return. In the main loop, you have to write the uh, actual code, like wh how exactly any program will work. You have to write the code in the uh, loop function. So first, we'll see uh, one example uh, program in order to uh, connect an uh, uh, LED, and we'll uh, turn on the LED. So uh, here, the blinking of LED program, it mainly requires on breadboard and Arduino on a microcontroller and LED, a 330 ohm resistor and one two jumper wise. So as you can see, this is how you can interface an LED to this Arduino Uno microcontroller. As you can see, the LED has only uh, two pins. One have to connect to ground pin. As you can see, one is a slightly bent one is there. That we have to connect to the any digital pin that we, we, we are connecting through a 30, 330 ohm resistor. As you can see, have connected to digital pin of Arduino Uno. That is pin number two. This is a simple way in order to interface this LED to Arduino Uno microcontroller. Next, we'll program it. So this is how uh, uh, LED will look like. As you can see, the short one will be a negative pin, and the long one will be like positive pin. So in the so you now uh, we'll write a program for it. So then I go, go to sketch and open a new here file, open a new sketch. In this you have to write this code. As you can see, void setup. In the setup, I have to define the pin mode. So I have connected LED to the pin number two of Arduino Uno microcontroller. So I'm defining the pin mode as two. I am uh, connecting LED as output, so pin mode 2 as output. After that, in the loop, have to write the uh, actual function. So what I am making is, I am making, uh, like I am uh, turning on the LED for some uh, some time and again, after some delay, I am turning off the LED, like that LED will blink and go. So here, a digital write of 2 comma i, what this line will mean, as I connect it to digital pin, so I am uh, writing digital of, I am making the pin 2 as high, that is nothing but I am turning on the LED. Next, after that, I am giving a thousand millisecond of delay. After that, that is thousand millisecond means on second of delay I am giving. After that, again I am making digital write of two as low means after a thousand millisecond of delay, it is again I am making the LED low means that is I am turning off the LED. After that, a thousand seconds delay I am giving. After that, again it will make high as it I have written in the loop. In this way, after a one second of delay, it will uh, turn on and turn off. So in this way you can interface a LED to Arduino microcontroller and you can uh, write the program and uh, dump into the Arduino microcontroller and you can run it. So here there are mainly uh, two, as you can see pin mode 2 come output, what this will do means it is mainly defining pin mode as a output. If you are using any sensor means we are making sensor as an input. So that depends on the pro, like uh, devices which you are connected to uh, Arduino microcontroller. So this digital rate of 2 high means this is in order to make the pin high or low that is in order to send the uh, high means uh, output voltage 5 volts I am sending low means 0 volts I am sending like that we will make uh, a high and low. So this is in this way you can use this Arduino Uno microcontroller in order to do the project and you can interface any uh, devices or sensors or actuators depending on your project and you can uh, program using Arduino ID and you can download and install it and you can program and uh, you can dump that code in a microcontroller and you can use it in a many purpose. So thank you for watching the video. Thank you.